Uh, right, recording. So, hi guys, so welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new video, and we're gonna check out a conversation here between Joe Rogan and Dave Chappelle. The video is called What Brought Dave Chappelle Back? So, I'm not gonna ramble, let's get straight into the video. We need Dave Chappelle in the comedy scene. Just his style, he's jokes, the rawness. The Joe Rogan like... experience. Look, you get out in that world, Joe. You're, you're famous everywhere. You've never been to these places, but when you get there, they're gonna know you. Mm. Or, Sounds there's terrible. a thing that happened to me years ago in London where I was in a restaurant and I was kind of waiting for the table and, and when the lady, she, she asked me my name. She said, what's your name? I go, David. She goes, well, this is David on the list. What's your last name? I go, Chappelle. And she looks up and I look around and everyone's kind of looking. I could tell they had heard of me, but they didn't know that, that was oh, me. right, right, it was right. that kind of thing. Yeah, this was this was after I quit the show, but not long after, like oh five, oh six. What did you do for those ten years? A lot of shit. Ten I, years, wow. I learned a lot. I mean, but it was it was a humble existence. I, you know, I I had had young children, and uh, I was raising my kids. I was living a suburban life, uh, and then every once in a so while, nice. I get this feeling like I'm the funniest. Guy, I gotta get out there, and I would like fly to Denver, do a week in Denver or something. And and that's when you would read. I was doing like these six-hour shows. I performed like I was desperate for it. I lo I loved it. Yeah. And uh, at one point, I had done a, one of these big comedy tours that Live Nation put together, that Oddball tour. And I did all right. I, I mean, I had, a, I had a good run. I, I wiped out in Hartford, and that was all over the internet. That was the first time that thing had happened to me. Uh. But for the most part, the tour went good, but it was a tough tour for me because it was a long show. I had to close it. You know, uh, my chops weren't as tight as they normally were, but I wouldn't, I didn't suck by any means, but you know, it could have been better. <laughs> humbling. It was humbling, mm -hmm. but it made me want to go back. And, and the shows were like, every show was like 20,000 seats. They were like all these. What year was this around? Shit, I can't remember. Obama was president maybe. <sighs> I don't know, eight, nine, ten. But you were there. you were famous for just showing up places. You would just fly in. That's the one. I that's when I started. I, I used to in the summer. I, I started riding motorcycles, which is like very uncharacteristic. But I loved it. I would and I rode. I said I'm gonna ride my bike across country, and I did. I cheated. I had a tour bus with me, a trailer. So if it rained or something, or if I just wanted to bail, I could. But I rode across the country, I, I, and, and I'd never seen America like that. We talk about how mm. big it is and, and expansive, and man, I saw all the little pockets. On a bike, you know, you really yeah. feel the environment, you see things, um, and I would. I'd stop and play. One of my favorite birthdays was here in Austin. I, I, I was, I'd was never I been to Austin. Saying, I'm picturing Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Harley Davidson. Really, and I pulled up on 6th Street. I'd been to Austin, but I'd never seen Austin. Pulled up on 6th Street, it was my birthday. I was riding with the guy, he's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? And you know, at that time, I wasn't drinking or smoking or anything. Uh, I said, I want to do stand-up. And I mm -hmm. found a bar. That's passion right it was, there. It was right around closing. And I saw the DJ packing up, and I said, can I use your microphone? And he mm -hmm. recognized me, so he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went up there, and I just started talking shit. <laughs> And, you know, but it was just like, you know, teasing the bar staff as they're cleaning up, talking to patrons, and, you know, get it home fast, buddy, and all that shit. Right. And people laugh, and they kind of, it was like doing, I used to do street comedy in New York. It kind of reminded me of that, like building a crowd. Mm. And after a while, people stopped and listened. Now, now I'm not a tech-savvy dude, but Twitter had come out. And I guess people had started tweeting, like, yo, it's just crazy. Dave Chappelle's just in here ranting. Man, it might have took like an hour. That place was packed. <laughs> And I must have stayed on stage three or four hours. Wow. And, and nah. you know, they, they closed the door. They locked the door because it was after hours. Oh. And I, I was in there killing it. it wow. Was best birthday I ever had. One of the best birthdays I ever had. Sometime around when I turned 40, I just decided that I'm going to have fun. You know, like right now, you know, this is a weird thing to talk about, but after DMX passed and, and Black Rob and, you know, now far more often, people from my peer group pass away. And it just makes me feel like, it's not a midlife crisis, it's almost the opposite of that. It's like, look, I know I don't get to stay here forever. Yeah, my time is limited and precious, and, and I don't take any of these things for granted. I don't take this money for granted, this platform. And I'm not talking about the fame platform, I'm talking about 
comedy, this genre, like I make it. This genre, it's been so good for me. Catch new episodes oh, of Joe Rogan. Come on, I wanted to hear more. No, I, I could feel what he said. Like this was life. Like basically, he was uh, just wanted to be him and what he liked. His family just slow down a little bit, and then eventually go back to what he loved. And I feel like sometimes like. Fame really comes with everything. If someone succeeds in something, whatever it is, uh, it's gonna be that fame with it. But that doesn't seem tempting at all. Just having everyone just know you and you just feeling looked at all the time. But it was something that you loved that made that happen, but that was not what you wanted. It just came with it in a way. I feel like he's finding back to what he loved. And just trying to separate himself from the other part that just came with it in a way. It just sounded amazing. Imagine Dave Chappelle on a Harley Davidson. Driving around the country. Just like the peacefulness and calmness. That's what it sounds like. Just coming to pubs. Middle of nowhere. Just doing stand-up. I love stand-up comedy. I always like those cold and raw jokes. To just real life things. that You just can laugh at misery. You can laugh at just sensitive things just because we all know there's jokes but yeah I love it we need De Dave Chappelle uh, giving us uh, the jokes I love him Great. he seems like a good person uh, in general too but uh, yeah I'm gonna stop rambling hope you guys enjoyed this little video I did I wanted to hear more this video was too short but like comment subscribe all the good stuff and hopefully I see you guys in another video bye <laughs>